We are QSET, the Queen's Space Engineering Team, an undergraduate-led rover team based out of Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Our team has been hard at work improving and updating our rover for the 2025 University Rover Challenge. We're extremely excited to show you what we've completed over the last year. Our new rocker differential system maintains previous year's maneuverability while increasing stiffness and reducing backlash by using large cross roller bearings at rocker attachment points. Rocker linkages were positioned to provide space for swerve drive modules in next year's design. The rover's wheels are driven by planetary drive brushless DC motors with integrated PID controllers. Wheel treads are 3D printed from compliant TPU, which deforms to give each wheel additional dampening when maneuvering. Our new custom chassis, using carbon fiber body panels riv bonded to the rover's aluminum skeleton, provides an ideal combination of stiffness and lightweight construction, as well as additional space for internal components. Triple redundant internet protocol remote communication with the rover is achieved over 2.4 GHz, 900 MHz, and 433 MHz frequency bands, allowing the rover to operate at long distances and without line of sight. New lithium-ion batteries, consisting of two custom six-cell battery packs in series, provide the rover with 48 volts for up to two hours of continuous driving and operation. Camera feeds are encoded locally on each subsystem, implementing H.264 hardware accelerated encoding, reducing latency and bandwidth usage. A new quasi-direct drive, six degree of freedom arm grants the operator additional flexibility in dexterous tasks. The joints consist of brushless DC motors with integrated planetary reduction for pan, shoulder, elbow, and forearm, and a servo-driven differential style wrist allowing for end effector pitch and roll control. Inverse kinematic software allows the arm to determine the best joint motions to reach Cartesian positions input by the operator. A custom control board with a pair of three axis joysticks controls the translation and rotation of the arm's end effector. The end effector is controlled by a separate control panel. A dual display setup provides ample room for up to eight navigation and instrument cameras. The rover is capable of navigating autonomously to specified GNSS coordinates, locating Aruco tags, large orange mallets, and water bottles. The rover indicates if it is being user-operated with blue lights, autonomously operated with red lights, or arrived at its destination with blinking green lights. Our differential GPS implementation provides heading and location information accurate to less than 4 centimeters. The rover identifies Aruco tags using our custom implementation of the OpenCV Aruco library. To locate obscured targets, the rover drives in a spiral search pattern designed to search the area surrounding the supplied GNSS coordinate. Twin Intel depth cameras operating in tandem with our custom autonomous stack allow the rover to identify and avoid obstacles in its path. Orange mallets and water bottles are detected using our custom trained YOLO V11 object detection model incorporating our camera's depth information to determine distance from the rover. This year, we have generated cost maps based on existing LiDAR data of the Mars Desert Research Station and surrounding areas to allow the rover to plan accurate paths and avoid known obstacles, leveraging our new non-uniform Theta Star Path Planner. The rover's scientific payload is capable of lowering to the ground, collecting soil samples for wet chemical analysis, and inspecting rock samples with its microscope camera. The payload also features sensors for subsurface temperature, CO2, humidity, pressure, and VOC content. To prevent sample site cross-contamination, four individual scoops are used to collect and deposit samples into the reactor's chemical test suite. Collected samples are sieved to remove larger particles and evenly distributed into three chemical test cuvettes. Colorimetric assays are observed by selectively illuminating the test cells and observing with a UV-Vis spectrometer through fiber optic cables. This year, our protein assay has been changed from fluorescein diacetate to bisyncondinic acid to improve test result accuracy. The BCA assay detects total protein by using reactions between peptide bonds and copper ions to form a purple-colored complex. The second colorimetric test is the dinitrosalicylic acid assay. This assay detects the presence of reducing sugars by turning the reagent from yellow to orange-red in color. Our final colorimetric test will support our evidence of life within the soil samples by detecting inorganic phosphorus. Using the molybdenum blue method, the presence of these molecules is indicated by a clear blue color change in the reagent. All colorimetric test results will be relayed to the team by the spectrometer. Quantitative concentration estimates of each biosignature can be derived from the respective assay calibration curves using the intensity of the target wavelength. The sample drill uses an auger and lowering mechanism of the payload to drill up to 15 centimeters below the surface. The drill ejects material until the desired depth is reached, at which point the soil is diverted into a sealable cache for storage. QSET is continuing to improve our rover to compete in the 2025 University Rover Challenge. 
From now until May, we will continue to refine our procedures through rigorous mock competition tasks. We are eager to test out our new systems at the MDRS this year. Thank you for your consideration.